All right, well, I've been talking with a number of people about my last video, and people are really against my notion that I don't want to be someone who allows the Republicans to keep ratcheting things up more towards their side. Okay, and people are saying, well, you know, you shouldn't vote based on, you know, it shouldn't be strategic voting. It shouldn't be strategic support. And my response to that is, Republicans come together. They stand together with each other. Otherwise, we wouldn't have Republicans supporting Trump, even though before he got elected, many Republicans didn't really like Trump. And a lot of Republicans don't really like Trump in actuality, but they stand behind him because that's what Republicans do. Democrats are very fractured. That's just how it is. Every time there is a big push for an independent candidate, the Democrats are the ones that lose. The Republicans are the ones that win. That's just how it is. And it's because Repub excuse me, Republicans stand together and Democrats are very fractured. All I'm trying to say is that Hey, yeah, um, if we want to win against Republicans, we're going to have to stand together. That's the main gist of what I'm trying to say. Maybe that doesn't make sense to some people. Maybe some people are, you know, I, I'm not saying that I, that I support the whole equality of outcome or identity politics. I don't. But there are some things that I'm willing to, to put up with in order to fight against the right. Okay? The right stands together. That's just how they've been. That's how they win. Democrats need to play some of those same games in order to win. Now, yes, it would be nice if, if there was less craziness on the left. It would be nice. I wish that was the case. But it's not. But I can choose to either be supportive of the left or choose to take a stance that will, in the long run, strategically be supportive of the right. I'm not going to take that second option. Sorry.